Ben2 has discovered critical new roles for metabolites in regulating cell growth. Important new insights into a field scientists long considered well understood. His discovery of how metabolism affects when cells grow and divide, as well as when they don't, may have major implications for the treatment of diseases such as cancer or neurodegeneration. Dr. Tu combines a fearless approach with detailed methodical work. His scientific sleuthing is guided by broad knowledge, intuition, and a knack for elegant experiments. The associate professor at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center is also known for thought-provoking presentations, outstanding teaching, and generosity in scientific collaboration. For his research success, love of teaching, and commitment to science, the Welch Foundation honors Benjamin P. Tu with the 2014 Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. So we are very interested in understanding metabolism and how uh, small metabolites in our cells influence decisions that cells can make. It's like when to grow, when to divide, when to slow things down uh, so that the cells can survive better. And so essentially we're very interested in understanding the chemistry of life, if you will. Ben was one of the few people to say that there ought to be a connection between the two between this regulatory biology and intermediary metabolism, and he's struck gold. He's found a number of examples of how metabolites within cells connect with the regulatory proteins that control how cells divide or grow. And so he's, he's really knocked it out of the park. In a breakthrough discovery, Dr. Tu has shown that acetyl coenzyme A, already known as a workhorse for its many roles in converting food into energy, also serves as the gatekeeper, telling the cell when to divide and grow. There was a general thought that we knew what was going on in terms of metabolism in the cell. And Ben comes along in the last six years and shows that not only is acetate a hard-working molecule in metabolism, but it's also crucial um, for regulating gene transcription. Before a cell grows and divides, it must first determine if there are enough resources available. It does this by sensing key metabolites and nutrients in the cell or in the environment. Dr. Tu is interested in learning how the nutrients are broken down, how they talk to the proteins in the cells, and how they regulate important decisions. Using yeast to study the links between metabolism and cell regulation, Dr. Tu's lab recently published two other major discoveries. He detailed how the intracellular levels of sulfur-containing amino acids are sensed and their role in determining whether a cell grows or enters autophagy, a process by which a cell consumes part of itself to survive in response to nutritional stress or starvation. The second finding showed how these amino acids also affect the rate at which a cell can make proteins by modifying a nucleotide present in tRNA. He has tremendous amount of knowledge, especially in modern molecular biology and phenomena such as cell death, cell differentiation, and growth. Bing has a very broad background and understanding of or the pathways. So he's an ideal guy to study the uh, function of metabolism in cell differentiation and growth. He's totally dedicated to science. Ben is very um, interested in getting an answer to a question and that's what drives him more than anything else. But he's also a magnificent teacher and he volunteers um, to help others. His door is always open, so he's um, available to provide advice to like, even younger trainees or to students. He teaches at all levels in the medical school. Um, and so he's a true academic citizen. Dr. Tu's parents are scientists who encouraged his interest in math and science. Growing up, he was inspired by visits to his father's laboratory at Penn State. He earned a chemistry degree at Harvard and a doctorate at the University of California, San Francisco. It was there that he met his wife, Helen. 
But it was sports, rather than science, that first brought them together. When Ben broke his collarbone during a game of Ultimate Frisbee, Helen went with him to the hospital and then visited him during his recovery. Their relationship turned into a long-distance romance when Ben accepted a postdoc position in Steve McKnight's lab at UT Southwestern. It was during a visit to Dallas that Ben surprised Helen with a ring and a proposal. Of course I said yes, because uh, I think we knew from the moment we started dating, from the first moments, I, well I knew, and I'm pretty sure he knew that uh, we were the ones for each other. <laughs> so. Helen, now a neuroscience postdoc at UT Southwestern, says that while they often discuss science, much of their dinner table talk centers on their children, Eva, five, and Evan, almost three. In addition to being a great scientist, Ben is also a really great husband and father. We're all really busy, but we somehow manage to find the time to spend with each other. We like to uh, you know, take the kids places, you know, play outside, get them to read books, um, uh, games, uh, you know, we, we try to teach them a little bit of Chinese as well. Um, but, you know, mostly I think right now it's, uh, you know, <laughs> just trying to hang in there, make sure they're, uh, you know, happy and healthy. Between work and family, Ben has little time to pursue his previous outside interests such as sports, but he still maintains a saltwater fish tank, an enthusiasm from his bachelor days that ties back to chemistry. And it turns out it come, a lot of it comes down to chemistry as well. It, you know, it's a reminder of you know, a lot of the natural products that have led to various medicines uh, that uh, in our society have come originally from uh, you know, the, the ocean and some of these corals and sponges. Working with collaborators, Dr. Tu is demonstrating that many of the links between metabolism and cell regulation in yeast also apply in mammalian cells. A biotechnology spin-off he helped start is testing inhibitors of metabolic targets as a possible means of preventing unwanted cell growth, such as cancer. To date, they have shown to be effective without causing toxicity, even at prolonged doses. There's so much we don't know about how cells work, and uh, Ben has 20, 30, 40 years in front of him to keep uncovering new, cool connections between how cells work and how metabolism works. I have the hopes that his contributions are going to potentially change medicine. It's the thrill of figuring out how our cells are working and how all these processes in the cell are ultimately tied to metabolism and metabolites themselves. And remarkably, there's very little that we know about how metabolism and nutrients influence uh, various cell processes. It's sort of like we're exploring um, unknown territories, going into a dark cave. We don't know where it's going to lead, but we know at the end uh, yeah, there's going to be something very exciting that we hope to find that could uh, someday you know, help human health. For his invaluable contributions to science, the Welch Foundation is pleased to recognize rising star Benjamin P. Tu with the Hackerman Award in Chemical Research.